teach it lick by lick like I always do and then go back to the low part and teach you how to get from one to the other seamlessly and uh, it should be explained pretty well on each page of coming around the mountain and by the way uh, both pages are now part of the same PDF file which you can download at my website at, at the link uh, underneath the, uh, the video on my website Okay, so what I always do is I'll, I'll put links back on my website to this, to the video, the YouTube video I'm doing, plus uh, the jam tracks, plus the PDF file, so that you get the whole package that way, for free. Why? Because this is just what I do, because I'm a nice person. There you go. <laughs> okay, so let's get started here. Uh, and if you're familiar already with the high part to a fireball male, this starts off kind of the same way. With, so I'm, I'm working in and out of my triangle here part of the time. My Cumberland Gap. I call it the Cumberland Gap Triangle. You don't want to get lost in the Cumberland Gap Triangle, I'm telling you. And then I'm coming out of it. I'm starting out of it here on the, the uh, seventh fret of the third string. I'm using my second finger to go up to the ninth fret of the third string. Then I'm moving my index finger up here onto the eighth fret of the second string. And you can have this finger there already or not. It's easier if you just do it like this and then put this finger on. The, so I, I end up in my triangle. Uh, nine, eight, nine. So this is seven, nine, eight, and that's uh, third string, third string, second string, and then I'm going to do a couple of four rows. Five, two, one, five, two, one. Go backwards here from nine to seven using the same two fingers, and f uh, do a fifth string. A first string, notice I've kept this finger in place. My ring finger's up here on the first fret on the ninth, I mean, ninth fret of the first string. And back to my second finger and back to my first finger. So I start off with my first finger on seven, nine, eight. Okay, I'm going to put my pinky out here. Two, one, five, two, three. That's that uh, measure. I, I'm starting on the second string, eighth fret, <clears throat> going up to the eleventh fret, and I want to keep that clear if I can. I know it's hard to do, and if you haven't, if you haven't been through my uh, Cumberland Gap up the neck, or like Fireball Mail up the neck, you might want to go back and check those videos out. Uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown up the neck, uh, both parts, uh, ha has licks like this, too, where you're using your pinky. And that's two, two, one, five, two, three. And that's eighth fret, where my index finger is. And then pinky is out on 11, 11, two, one. My uh, ring finger's out here on nine. And then back, taking my pinky off, five, two, three. And my second finger's on three down here on the ninth fret. Okay? So starting from the top of this again, I want seven, nine on the third string, eight on the second string. And that's first finger, second finger, first finger. Five, two, one, five, two, one. Five, one, three, two. What I'm doing here is <clears throat> I'm, um, 
and then my triangle here, and then eighth fret, I'm going to lift up here and put my second finger here uh, on the tenth fret of the second string, because what I'm going to do next is slide it on up to the twelfth fret. So ten to twelve slide, and that's two eighth notes there. There's an eighth note on ten, eighth note on twelve. third finger down underneath it also on the 12th fret so I do my slide from 10 to 12 I'm sorry uh, 10 to 12 5 2 1 5 2 1 okay and my next lick I'm going to do 5 2 1 1 2 and this eighth notes 1 and 1 and 2 Reaching my pinky out here to the 14th fret. Okay. So, starting from the top again. Okay, so now I'm at my little D shape here, and I make this with three fingers. Second finger on the 11th fret of the third string. First finger on the 10th fret of the um, second string. Third finger on the, some people like to, you know, put their pinky out there. I just reach my third finger out here to the 12th fret on the first string. That's a F sharp, A, D. That's where I am right now. I'm going to do a four diverse roll around this shape. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Easy enough. And then another three, two, one, one. Now, there are different ways to do this. You could go reach back just just slide this one back the third finger back or but either way you're going to need to end up back in your triangle here again so that's the next measure here i'm in my triangle i'm back on the ninth fret of the first string eighth fret of the second string ninth fret of the third string out here with my pinky that's the 11th fret of the third string I'm used to reaching out here on on the 11th fret of the second string but now I'm doing the third string so I'm doing um, one That may be a little bit of a stretch there. We just go in there for one one note. Okay, my pinky's on ten here, and then eleven. Okay. Then all I'm doing for my next lick is taking this finger and moving it out one fret. That turns my my G. E minor triangle into a C and here I'm going to do another four diverse roll with a quarter note at the end three two one five one two three I'm going to take this finger move it out to the um, tenth fret and do a hammer here I do a hammer here with my second finger leaving the third finger in place on the tenth fret so I want both of those notes I'm going to pinch um, index and middle of my right hand is going to pinch one and two here. That's that measure. Okay. Now, I'm going to take all this and move it up two frets. I'm going to take my C and move it up to D. So that I'm now on 11, 10, and 12. 
And here I'm going to do a third fret. I'm going to take this finger. That's that line. Pinch, five, pinch. I'm taking it. I'm not doing the hammer here. You can if you want to. All I, all I have written is is 11 here on the third string and then pinch these two and then fifth string and I'm moving my uh, second finger up here again keeping I'm actually going to just keep my first finger in place down here because I'm going back and forth between that and that between 12 and 10 on the second string keeping the 12 on the first string so three pinch five pinch five pinch how that line goes. It's better just to work with it until you get the, kind of get the feel of it. Rather than, you know, I mean, you can count it out. One, two, three, and four. It's hard for me to play and count it. One, two, and three, and four. Okay? Anyway, that's that line, the, your D um, phrase there. And I'm going to scoot back to my triangle and hit a G lick here, just like I do in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. And again, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with this, go back there and, and uh, to the high part of Foggy Mountain Breakdown and look, look this up. Two, one, five, two, one, five, three, one. Again, back to my triangle here. I'm doing two, one. Extending my pinky out to 11. 5, 3, 1, and three, 2, pinch. Now, if I want to go back and work this again, I just go 7, 9 on the third string and go back to the top of this page. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the high part, uh, two, pinch, and then the bottom line there, the O, two, and the fourth string, takes me back to the top of the page one, where it says top. And my slide. Five, three,
probably what I would do would be go back and play another low part and then end it there. And again, um, your ending can be several things. You can just end it like that. It's fine. Uh, fireball made all the It's fine too. Or it's fine. Okay.